Hello and welcome to eMultiskills Skills video tutorial. In this video tutorial, we will see how to connect to a MySQL server 8.0 or any other version which is uh, uh, remotely uh, installed on a server and uh, we have to connect with that uh, either using the workbench or the command line. So let me show you the setup. So I have a MySQL instance which is running on 192.168.1.51 which is a Linux server and there is a client which is running on a Windows server. So what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to connect MySQL server which is running on uh, Linux and I'm trying to access it uh, from a Windows uh, system. So what we will be doing is we will be using two methods. In one of them we will be trying to uh, connect uh, uh, through the command prompt and in another uh, scenario what we will do we will try to connect it uh, uh, using the uh, workbench which is a GUI tool. So let me show you the setup. This is my MySQL instance. So let me log into that. So everything is there. I'll just copy and paste. So what I will say MySQL hyphen u hyphen root uh, hyphen p password and then I'll log into the server locally. So you can see this is my Linux box and I'm logged into this. This is a demo, so I'm just showing the password. You can see I'm able to log in. This is the local way of accessing the MySQL instance, but this is not the requirement. My requirement is I wanted to connect MySQL instance remotely. Uh, so just to achieve that, what do I need? So I need to have a user ID so that I can connect to the MySQL instance remotely from a Windows system or any other system. Please remember that the Windows system which is in this demo being used they, and the Linux system both are in the same network. So that is a prerequisite. So what I'm going to do is to access my MySQL instance using some user. So I need to create a user so that should be able to log in from my Windows box. So let me show you the uh, user which are currently installed on the particular system. So you can see these are the default user root is everything is localhost. So I cannot connect this uh, MySQL instance running on on Linux box uh, from anywhere else. So what I need to do is I need to create a user who can uh, can um, log into the server from some other system. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a user with the name MySQL backup and it can access from anywhere. So it is within my environment or I can put uh, the IP range also. Uh, there are a lot of facilities available. You can uh, you can try whatever best suits for you. In this demo environment, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a user, create user MySQL at the rate percentage. That means it is going to take all the IP addresses identified by uh, password I have given. Then I'm saying grant select comma show view comma uh, reload replication client event trigger on star dot star to mysql at percentage then i'm saying grant lock tables on star dot star to mysql at percentage then i'll check the users uh, if it is created and uh, and and that's it so let me execute all these statements in one shot and you can see uh, uh, select host comma user from mysql.user. The host is percentage. That means this particular MySQL backup can log in from anywhere. So let me exit out of this. Let me try to log in uh, uh, using this particular user as well. Uh, locally, then we will try to log in through the uh, remote system as well. So. Here, here is the command which we have to try mysql hyphen u and uh, the username is mysql backup and the password name and the password is this one. So let us try to log in uh, locally then we'll test it remotely as well which is the requirement for this demo. Let me clear the screen. And let's feed in the password. 
you can see I'm able to log into the database uh, the, to the MySQL instance. Now, let's let's do one more thing, which is the requirement for this demo. We'll try to log in through the command prompt. Uh, this is a Linux environment, and this is my my Windows box. So uh, let me open a command prompt, and I'll go to. Uh, uh, let's directly try to connect through the uh, MySQL workbench. So I have already started the MySQL workbench and let me create a session. So this is the GUI mode and uh, I'll just say my MySQL connection. Just press on this plus button and it will open a new window. Uh, connection name. So I wanted to say I wanted to connect to a server whose IP is 192.168.1.51 and I wanted to connect through this particular user MySQL. Uh, the username is MySQL Backup. MySQL Backup. We are using the connection method uh, TCP IP. Host name is let us put in the host name over here. Port is default one, which is 3306. User is not root because root we have, if you if you can have a look, the root user can uh, log in only from the same host, from the IP address, which is 192.168.1.51. And we are trying to log in through MySQL backup, which can log in from anywhere. So let's try to log in with that. And the password is password hash one, two, three. Username is MySQL backup. And we'll say test connection. It will prompt for the password. Fill in the password and let's save this. Okay. You can say successfully made the MySQL connection. So we are able to log into the MySQL instance, which is running on a Linux box. Just say uh, OK, press OK, and you will be able to see a new GUI uh, um, a session, and uh, that will be MySQL backup. Just click it. So you can see that uh, we are able to log in remotely uh, through the GUI tool, which is Workbench. What we can do is we can uh, log in through the uh, command prompt also from the remote environment. Uh, let me open services.msc and let me locate uh, the binary of mysql i'll just say let's locate mysql service just wanted to see the location of the binary this is the bin location so we'll go to command prompt uh, remotely i'll say cd and we are in the bin location and using the command prompt we will try to log in so we'll say mysql hyphen u mysql hyphen p what we are doing we are trying to log in remotely through the command prompt we'll feed in the password I need to enter the host name. Host name is 192.168.1.51. And uh, then the password. This is the host name. And then the password. The password is password hash 123. You can see we are able to log in. 
So in this demo, what we had seen is uh, we have uh, seen how to log in to MySQL instance, which is running on a remote system using two methods. One of the method is through the GUI mode, uh, through the workbench, and other through the command prompt. Please remember, in MySQL, you need a user who can uh, uh, log in remotely. By default, uh, uh, using the best practices, the uh, MySQL access uh, is, is disabled uh, on the remote system if you want it. If you have a valid reason, you can do that. Otherwise, uh, the best practices says the root has to be logged in from the local host only. I hope uh, this is uh, useful for you. Uh, thanks and thanks for watching.